It is currently Tuesday, the 16th of February. Pancake day, pancake day. Uh, Shrove Tuesday. And that's, I, I don't know what else it's named around the world. Um, but yeah, Mardi Gras. Um, in the UK, we make pancakes on pancake day. So hopefully we'll be having pancakes for dinner. Pancakes for dinner. Um, yum. But yeah, I've got my sunshines in by Tiny Sunshine Shop. Boop. Um, and I've done a very heavy eye makeup today. I don't know if it's aging me or if that's just my face. Hey, such is life. Uh, so... Late start to the morning, as always, I finished, I packaged up all of the yarn and stitch marker clubs yesterday. I've called Royal Mail, they're coming to collect them today. I have, I had a couple of Bernie's mittens to make, because I completely forgot to make them. Uh, so I made them this morning and they are now in the thing. I need to dispatch everyone's orders, so that is what I'm about to go and do, but yeah. It's been relatively productive. I've spent way too long making my face look like this. Um, and it's a stitch marker making day. Sorry. Um, I will try and do a yarn dyeing day on Thursday just to mix it up a bit, spice it up a bit and make vlogs somewhat more um, interesting. But yeah, today it's a stitch marker day. So I'm just recovering this mushroom broth that Mario made. We had ramen yesterday, it was very tasty. Um, yes. Yeah, sorry the vlog went up so uh, so late yesterday. I was packaging up all of the yarn and stitch marker clubs and you know that I don't like packaging. So I was trying to not give myself an excuse to not package. So I didn't give myself an excuse to not package, which meant I didn't edit in time. But yes, let's go make some stuff. Orders are all dispatched. Um... Yeah, it can sometimes take a while to dispatch orders just because uh, the people that have chosen tracked, I then have to like go through and send everyone their individual um, tracking numbers and, and whatnot. But all done, all sent. Um, my order count should be back to zero. Back to zero. How satisfying. How satisfying. Um, yes. So, in the old house that I used to live in, the post office was like just across the road. It's now not just across the road and on a busy high street. The post office at the old house used to let me uh, jump the queue um, and just like dump my bags, run, come back, collect the receipt. Uh, but yeah, the new post office, busier. And um, my bun was sticking out weirdly. Uh, the new post office is much busier um, and they seem a bit grumpier but I don't know if that's just because, you know, I've gone when it's busy and I get it. Um, but yeah, I don't think they'd let me jump the queue. So, it's just so much easier to have Royal Mail come and collect them. So much easier. Because they just come by, collect, leave. It's £17.50 £17 a pop so it's not cheap. But that's what you get for convenience. Um, and I only do it twice a month, so it, to me, it makes it so worthwhile. Something that will never fail to surprise me with Mystery Yarn Clubs in particular, not so much Stitch Marker Clubs because uh, fewer people buy multiples, but it's the people that buy like a jumper's quantity of a yarn that they haven't seen. I had three people buy a jumper's quantity of a yarn they haven't seen and that's mad that's madness i'm not quite amazing thank you so much i'm so grateful but that's madness so i have something in my eye and it's making my eye water so i'm probably gonna have to go and have a look in a mirror um and then let's go make a cup of tea yeah
fluff in my eye. I think it's come out. I don't know. I could just have a watery eye now, which is really annoying because my makeup looks all right today. Although on camera it looks really patchy. In person it's really nicely blended, but hmm. I should be doing my makeup to camera standards, not in person standards, come on. Right, so tea is made. Um, yeah, it's one of their pancake day teas and I will say it is delicious. Uh, the blanket's on because I'm cold, even though today it's meant to be warmer than it has been. Um, some of you may know that I've had a bit of a sore back uh, recently. I didn't know what it was and I still don't really know what it is. But we've switched out our mattress for a firm mattress. Because um, we were still within our 100 days of receiving the last mattress. And because it's got memory foam topper, uh, it's a bit stinky. So, I mean, apparently it's just very, it is very normal for a new memory foam mattress to be a little stinky. Uh, so, windows are open in the bedroom, uh, but that does mean it's cold down here. I decided I'm going to make some more mini eggs, some more Easter chicks, and some more mushrooms. Judging by the feedback that I got on the last video, um... Yeah, you all seem to like them. So, the goal for today, even though it's already 20 to 12, is to try to make 20 stitch markers. Um, yeah, that's the goal, because I don't have many for the shop update yet, so. I need to try and fix that. Because it's coming up. It's coming up quickly. Um, something I spoke to Mario about yesterday that I haven't really spoken to anyone else about and I haven't really spoken to Mario about that that much. Um, but I'm going to just move this in. I'm just going to readjust. Let me readjust. We've readjusted. Um, after watching Becky's video on Sunday of her darning her, um, is it safe at home? Safe at home slippers? I think that's what it's called. One. I have a hat that needs to be done. Do um, I now want to get an extra camera to do fancy camera angles because uh, my phone camera isn't that good. That's it, those were the two things, but that wasn't what I was going to talk about. Um, so, I, the other day, had the realization of my business has just felt like quite a lot for the past year. I don't know if it's got any, oh my eye is watering again. I don't know if it's got anything to do with the, you know, fact of been a pandemic for a year or what. But I do feel like, um, I don't know. I don't know. I, tried to describe it last year as like um w running the wrong way up a an escalator but i don't know if that's the correct i always feel like i'm playing catch up with my business i always feel like oh crap the next deadline's coming up oh crap the next shop update's coming up oh no i need to work towards this and blah, blah, blah um but I mean, I need those deadlines because otherwise nothing would get done. It's really tough. But I do constantly feel like I'm chasing something and I don't know what. My, I don't want to sound conceited because I don't even know if that's the right word. I am so grateful for the business that I've got and I'm so grateful for how successful it is. I never in a million years, when I set up the Corner of Craft seven years ago, I had no idea what my business would be, eight years ago, I had no idea, seven and a half years ago, I had no idea what my business would be. I had no idea what would come of it. I had no idea how successful it would be. I didn't know what I would sell. Um, no clue at all. So the fact that I'm able to bead weave things and sell them as my full-time income is madness. I've expressed this many times before. Um, in my last shop update that wasn't a club update, I showed how grateful and overwhelmed I get on shop update days. But 
my goal for 2020 was to earn a certain amount each month consistently because my earnings the year before had been a little up and down, a little inconsistent. And I wanted, you know, the consistency of earning a certain amount there. Q March, I tripled that goal, that monthly goal that I'd set. Um, I had an incredibly successful uh, virtual yarn show that I did, which was baffling. And um, I also sold my advent calendar, the first batch of advent calendars. I had no idea how they'd sell. Sold out, which was madness. Um, so I thought, okay, cool. Well, that was a shock, but it's fine. That was just a fluke because of the advent calendars, blah, blah, blah. Um, people are wanting to support people. People are stressed out. So they're, you know, soothing themselves through buying stuff. It's fantastic. It's great. The next few months that followed, whilst I didn't quadruple the goal that I'd set for myself, thank God, um, I did s surpass it each month. I had a couple of quiet months. Um, because I was getting closer and closer to the VAT bracket and I haven't decided if I want to delve into the realm of VAT or not because, um, well, it seems very scary, it's very unknown, I'd have to hire an accountant, it's not something I can do myself and the VAT threshold most businesses, you can't just meet the threshold and then just like, you have to kind of go, go way past it. You need to just soar past the threshold because um, if, you're, if you're just over the threshold, you end up with less money than you had before your, beforehand because you're paying more tax. Um, yeah, so I need to decide what I want to do. Do I want to? try to soar past the VAT threshold or do I just want to stay under the VAT threshold trying to keep my business at a comfortable level for me which doesn't cause me a lot of stress because of course if I then go over the VAT threshold I would have to like up everything at the same time staying under the VAT threshold means that I'm not potentially not reaching my business's full potential. I don't know. I've never had a proper sit down with a pen and paper and talked it through with someone, anyone, business person or not, what I actually want from my business. What size do I want my business to be? Do I want it to be super successful to where I have to hire people and um, pay VAT and, um, increase production and all of that will people want to keep buying from me if for example my stitch markers aren't just made by me but are made by a, f a couple of people as or like one other person and me will that work and then there's the fear of well this could all go away as soon as interest has left um but i don't know I feel like very much I'm playing catch up with my business a lot of the time. I feel like um, I don't, maybe I'm not giving off this cool, calm, swan-like exterior while manically kicking my legs because I'm pretty sure I give off the impression that I'm not on top of anything. I don't know. But then there's the, the niggle of, well, am I just scared of success. Am I? I don't know. I'm already a success. Do I want more? I don't know. Please excuse my musings and um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I want from 
my business anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I thought stuff would calm down again this month, but then last month showed me, nope. So, yeah. I don't know, I'm in shock that my business is growing to what it is. Because the other annoying thing about the whole VAT threshold is, it's overall income, it's not, you know, uh, profit. It's not if you get over this much profit you have to, no, it's overall income. Regardless of what income you have, you have, you know, that's the threshold. And it's not financial year to financial year, it's rolling which is annoying, but um, postage has gone up substantially since I started The Corner of Craft. So a lot of my income, not a lot, but like a chunk of my income, a good chunk, is, um, oh, I thought it was a roll mail, not parcel force, um, is postage, but that doesn't matter. The tea is absolutely delicious. It's so good, but I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that rant. I don't know where I was going with that rambling. I know that um, a lot of you say that you like that I keep it real. You like that I'm very um, open about stuff on here. So this is me trying to keep it real and being open about stuff while beating a chocolate egg and drinking really tasty tea. <laughs> it's really good. Oh, I hope it becomes a regular. I don't think it's going to, but I'm going to be heartbroken because I only bought a 50 gram bag. It's so good. I was worried the hazelnuts would be too hazelnutty. I mean, it tastes more to me like um, chocolate covered strawberries as opposed to strawberries and Nutella, but not complaining still delicious more strawberries in tea bird and blend more strawberries in tea right okay i'm gonna go and keep doing this and uh Postman has picked up all your orders. Yeah. Came so much later today than usual. Not a complaint. Um, because it's still only three o'clock, so that's good. But so far the last or like every other time, my stomach's really gurgly, I do apologize. Um every other time it, they've come like before one. Um because when I, the first time I booked it, Royal Mail said, oh yeah, it will come any time after one up to six. And I was like, perfect. So I went out for a bit of a jaunt and then came back before one. I was like, how weird, they didn't turn up. Um, but yeah, turns out they had been, but I was out. So then I had to call up and then they came the next day. Uh, so now I know to wait in, but yeah, three o'clock. Seemed like a very friendly chat. It was like, oh, you've been busy. I'm like, I have been, thank you. Um, yeah, 
currently making tiny toadstools because not because but I'm drinking out of my toadstool mug so it's only appropriate there's only tea number two of the day um, which is you know pretty pretty you know, you know don't know what I'm saying usually I have way more tea than this is what I was trying to say yeah all I've been doing is bead weaving all day it's not the most exciting um, I realized also I realized that Mario is off on Thursday and I had completely forgotten that he's off on Thursday and I don't like to dye yarn when he's off because um, I take over the whole kitchen and um, well when it's just so when it's just myself dyeing yarn it's not too bad timing like when I eat food but when I have to consider when somebody else might want to eat food and such it's a bit more awkward um, although it's better than it was in the last house because um, I'm dying in the lean-to in this house and just bring it in for the other um, So yeah, if I don't dye yarn on Thursday, I'll do some on Saturday. Just so we have some different content. <laughs> Instead of me just bead weaving all the time. Hi folks, excuse the very yellow lighting. Um, it's now a bit later in the day and yet it's still light outside. What? It's five o'clock! I'm so excited for spring. I've painted my nails. Uh, I've painted them black for the first time in ages and I've got it all over my hands. Um, yeah. Mario's just called. He's on his way home. He was like, what are we having for dinner then? I'm like, pancakes, hello? Of course we're having pancakes. You have to have pancakes for dinner. It's pancake day. Um, oh, these are jiggling around quite a lot. Uh, he seems to have not forgotten. Ah, we probably need some more eggs. Might give him another quick call. Um, but yeah, I'm still just bead weaving. I don't really have anything much to share. Oh, I suppose I could show you my progress on my fluff nugget. Yeah, I'll do that. So I called Mario and said, hey, we need some more eggs. Do you fancy nipping to the co-op on your way home? And he was like, can you not just go now? I'm like, okay, I'm going to the co-op. But before I go, um, I will show, excuse me. I'll quickly show you the progress on my fluff nugget because it's been a while since you've all seen it. So, I have a body. So this is the Berlin cardigan. Uh, it's a pattern that I am test knitting for Becky Sorensen. It's not out yet. Um, it's coming out March, I believe. But I have a body. It's all joined. It's all joined. And I am on to the sleeve, which I'm very excited about. Um, yeah. Tell you what, doing brioche on Magic Loop is kind of awkward, but I'm kind of into the swing of things now. So, yeah, I'm very excited. And a lot of people have finished theirs, which is always cool. And something that I really like about Becky's patterns is that... When I see how it fits on her, that's how it's going to fit on me because of how she like scales up her patterns. She makes sure it fits the same on everyone and that it's all proportionately correct, um, which I didn't know how important that was until I spoke to her about it um, because I'm ignorant about things, but yeah. So I have a neckband to do and I have two sleeves to do because I'm only a tiny fraction in but I will not be doing any of that right this second because I need to go to the co-op really quickly and pick up some eggs and maybe some plain flour and see if there's anything else that I want to have on my pancakes. Always carry a brolly, always carry a brolly. Started to rain but um, I've always enjoyed going out for a walk like when the light is like this. In the summer it tends to be a bit later. Um, yeah, I used to go out for a walk quite a lot when Mario was off, uh, when Mario had gone to bed, so I really enjoyed it and I miss it because uh, I can't do it in the winter because it's dark and I don't want to go walking when it's dark, but I'm excited to explore the new places I can go to once it's, uh, once it's a bit lighter. 
eggs and flour has been procured. Of course, as I left, I saw that they had some reduced for quick sale eggs. <sighs> but hey, whatever. Um, yeah. So hopefully we're gonna have pancakes for dinner because I, Mario and I went to Estonia a few years ago now and um, in Tallinn they have a really good, uh, oh it's my glasses, they're dirty, had a really good uh, pancake restaurant called Compressor and my goodness they were such good pancakes. I had, we went twice but the only one that I can seem to remember off the top of my head I had one with beef mince and cheese in, and it was really good. They were like English pancakes, which surprised me. Um, because for those that don't know, English pancakes are different to American pancakes, and they're even different to crepes. Um, in that, English pancakes are kind of like crepes, but fatter. I don't know, I don't know, I don't think I've ever made crepes, I don't know what goes into a crepe, but yeah, I've made English pancakes plenty of times. And also, it's the same batter that is a Yorkshire pudding for those, I don't know. I think they're similar to Finnish pancakes. Swedish pancakes are the one that they bake in the oven, which reminded me of um, Yorkshire puddings, but the difference is, from what I can remember, Yorkshire puddings, you heat up a load of fat in the oven and then you pour the batter in and then you put it back in the oven and that's what gives it the puff and crisp but I feel like you don't do that with Swedish pancakes I think but we have pancake stuff that's the important thing dinner was absolutely delicious blah, 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 blah. we have pancakes obviously and um, we had vegetables in them, bit of cheese, bit of leftover steak from Valentine's Day. Um, yeah, super tasty with a salad on the side. Yum. And we uh, realized we needed to have oats more f or um, pancakes more for dinner. So very tasty. I hope you all had a good pancake day. Um, and that you ate pancakes or whatever traditionally you do on Shrove Tuesday. I hope you're able to do at least a portion of that. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you usually do. I feel like I've already asked this. No, I haven't. I've asked something else because um, that would be great. But I am just going to wrap up this video here because it's probably plenty long enough. I'm just going to finish off bead weaving what I'm currently working on and then knit on my fluff nugget a bit more. And that will probably be the plans for the evening as Mario has an early night because he has a very early start tomorrow morning. So, thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. Your support does honestly mean the world to me. And if you hated it, you can give it a thumbs down. That also helps me out, so thank you. Um, yeah, the vloggy check-in. We love to see it. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you got up to today. Um, I'm nosy. And feel free to subscribe as well if you want to. Oh, I had to take the sunshines out when I went to the co-op. Feel free to subscribe. Um, I'm posting three times a week at the moment and I'm really enjoying it and would love to have you along for the journey as well. That would be fab. Um, and is that everything? Oh, if you'd like to follow me on social media, links can all be found in the description box below along with everything else that I think you might need. Not everything else, anything else. I don't actually know what you might need, but everything else, that would be quite a long description box and there's a limit on characters. Um, but yes, thank you so much for joining me today. I have truly loved spending the day with you and I will see you very soon in Friday's video. Yes, bye.